Hello, Michigan gardeners. This is Doug at Bosud Family Farm. We're in Marshall, Michigan uh, on Verona Road, just outside of Marshall. Um, today's video is on daylilies. This is really the season for them. They begin late June and then really um, there's a variety of varieties and they will carry you all the way into August. Um, some will go beyond that because they, they rebloom with a little attention. One of those is is this one that I have here. This one's called Apricot Sparkles and it um, reblooms if you're willing to take some time after this flowering stem is completely done, take some time and um, deadhead that out of there, pick it out, and then, um, or cut it out. Uh, this one is nearly done here. Um, take that out of there and then uh, give it a good drink of water if you've been dry, maybe some fertilizer, and you can encourage it to rebloom. That's one of our reblooming ones. We've also got other reblooming ones other than the traditional Stella Dioro that uh, most people come in and ask for. That's the one that has been uh, a repeat bloomer and came on the market maybe 25 years ago. Um, there's, there's several that uh, play on Stella Dioro. They've been hybridized to have different colors. So there's a Ruby Stella, that's a red one. There's a Rosy Returns, it's kind of a pink color with a yellow throat. It returns well. Um, there's Going Bananas, that's another one that's yellow, that comes back. Uh, again, if you do some deadheading and give it some moisture, a little fertilizer. Um, but there's, there's several repeat bloomers uh, that come back again for you in August and when it cools off in the fall. Um, so think about that if you're, if you're looking for a perennial that gives you an extended uh, length of time for a bloom. There's also the more traditional ones. This one here um, is a pinker one. This one's called Woodside Romance. I like this a lot. It will bloom now for two or three weeks and then um, we'll be done, but I'll, I'll go through and take out the old flower escapes at that point, but I haven't seen it rebloom. Maybe it would in the fall, but I haven't seen that happen. Um, but I, I like it just for its color. Um, through late June and, and the first couple of weeks in July um, and then you can cut the flower, old flower stems out of there and you've just got green foliage there uh, in your garden uh, to, to, to look at at that point. Uh, this is another one here. It's got a dark throat to it. It's called Pandora's Box. So it's kind of a pale yellow with a, with a um, purplish throat. Um, I, I like the name Pandora's Box. Um, it tends to be a a uh, pretty good one and it I have seen occasionally uh, repeat bloom again if you're diligent about removing the old flower scapes and um, giving it some water if if we're particularly dry and sometimes we are dry when you know when they're done blooming at the end of July beginning of August sometimes we're very dry and it would help if you gave them a drink and some fertilizer to give them the idea that okay maybe I need to produce some more flowers um, but again um, I'll take down a tour of a few of our other daylilies we have. We have all kinds of colors, red, purple, yellow, orange. We have the ones that have the darker throats. We do have one double called Siloam Double uh, Pink. It's very, very pretty. Um, and I'll take you on a tour and show you some of those. So here's one that's called Moonlight Serenade. I like this one. Um, got a very deep purple throat. And then this one right here, I've lost the name for this one, so I just call it Yellow Ruffles, but I really do like that particular um, daylily also. Here's the double pink one called Siloam Double Pink. And then this one here is a favorite of mine. It's the uh, pinkish lavender with a deep throat. That one's called Always Afternoon. So lots of different choices. You can get the yellows and the oranges. Those are what most people are used to seeing. But you've also got pinks and lavenders. You've got purples. Um, you've got bicolor ones. You've got double ones. Lots of possibilities with daylilies. And again, with a little care, some of them can be encouraged to rebloom. So I hope this helps. And uh, if you want to get some daylilies, we have plenty here at the farm. But there are lots of other places that you can get daylilies too. It was a guest cameo appearance by Daisy, our doodle.